Can I ask you from a human rights perspective yep. about um, one of the things I'm interested in is is, is contempt. Well, what in the UK is called contemporary slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know the UN Sustainable Development Goal 8.7 yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah. human trafficking, forced labour, etc. Yeah. Gaza. Um, what, what what's your take on that? I mean, what, what, where where do you see that figuring in? That whole list of human rights uh, in in this country is, is there much focus on it? Should there be more focus on it? Um, yeah, you, you know, when you go into a rural setting, yeah. people may not agree with this, but I've, I've said it several times. Yeah. Especially when we are doing our work on end maternal mortality campaign, that is when you will understand that women have no power, and some of them leave almost like slaves in the hands of their husbands they decide on what to do they decide when you eat they decide where you go to so it's 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 if you look at it it's some form of slavery i, I was raised in that you know and uh, i was on radio once and i made a very radical statement and some people are not happy with it you know because when women die giving birth the men are not worried because the next moment they go get another wife you know, so I was on radio and I said, I wish when our mothers, sisters and our women die in hospital, the men die at home simultaneously. Because then men will understand that these are the key things. So slavery, you, you really could not see it clearly as some form of slavery. But when you look at the way some people have been treated within their own homes, some of the features of... So it of, begins in the home. Exactly. Yeah. Some of the yeah. features of slavery are there. In fact, even from the laws that we have, yeah. our cultural laws don't favor women and girls. Women and girls are seen as property. And slaves are seen as property. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you they, they want to decide on what happens. Yeah. Boys can be miserable. They can do all sorts of things. Nobody will say, you need to get married. But girls begin to do anything, they'll force them into marriages. Sometimes marriages of people that are old enough to be their fathers, grandfathers, they force them into such marriages. Sometimes they beat them. Sometimes they tie them on ropes if they refuse. So we know all of these things happen. So, so if you look at some of the characteristics of slave, slavery, you want to say some of this looks like some form of slavery. So we need to honor it. We need to do more research if we, if we really need very clear data to be able to concretely point at things like that. But we know there's, 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 there's a slave trade that's happening in, in the South region, you know, especially because people want to go to Europe. Yes. We know yes. what's happening. Yes. Yes. So that's really very so clear. So, so we have a chain, yes. exactly. Yes. We have a slave trade chain in Sierra Leone. Yes. We know because there are people here that are linked up to people in Libya, in Syria, and some other places yeah. where people are taken. For instance, my wife. My wife had a lady that was doing her year. So did, she became like a family member because she would come home, support my wife, and all of the things that they want to do. And she came and told my wife that, oh, I've got a scholarship, I'm going to quit. So my wife told me, and I said, can I talk to her? She said, and she came and I said, I tell her, look, what is happening in Kuwait is not human. Yeah. Don't go. I gave her examples. I told her some of the rape, the torture, the conditions under which some of these people are kept. You know, but when they listen to some other people, they will not listen. She left without even saying goodbye. She went there and two months after, she had to run away. Yeah. Luckily for her, she had to run away yeah. from her masters. Yeah. You know, yeah. fortunately, yeah. she has come back. Yeah. She has not been able to speak to anybody. I was gonna, yeah, yeah. But when you look at her, the trauma, right? there's yeah. so much story sitting in her yeah. that she has not been able to break that out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these are clear. I know people that have traveled and have lost their parents. We know people that have gone and they come back and they say, I just don't want to talk about what happened to me. So yes, there is this, there is this, this slave trade syndicate that's happening, and I definitely think we need to talk about it because human rights issue is about dealing dealing with it from a global perspective, not just a national perspective. Yeah. So I think we need to really look at it. Yeah. Why is it happening? Yeah. 
which I think is really very important, who is involved in it, evoke the necessary uh, anti-slave laws and see how people can be held accountable, but also look at powers. Those who have really have the powers and the resources to really to be able to support Africa or whatever region that's really suffering from this, to be able to deal with it. Because it's serious. It's child labor is very serious. But it's not only child labor. Child labor is connected to a whole lot of other things. Because child labor is leading to a lot of teenage pregnancy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also feeding on the issue of high rate of maternal mortality. Mm -hmm. Because we are having children getting pregnant when their physiology is not, not really, really enough yeah. to really take them. And most of these ones lost their lives. Because first, they really don't go to hospitals. They go to quack, ordinary people, traditional leaders yeah. to deal with these issues. But when there are complications, they die. It also leads to fistula. We are in some of these people are forced to give birth. It's too fistula. So it's so all it's 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 like it's like a compacted problem. Yeah. But the bigger picture is we are wasting our human resource. Mm. That is a wasted human resource. Yeah. You know, the last population census was saying that uh, Australia had about sixty percent of young people. Yeah. yeah. So if you have sixty percent of young people and we have these ones coming up without education, without moral training, yeah. without anything. It will come to a time we'll be looking out for people to take critical leadership role. They will not be there. There seems to me a kind of a, a lag in the information about. I mean, maybe people will always be driven to do that, but we owe it to them to tell them the true story exactly. about what, what could happen. What, exactly. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 the house where I was staying when I was in when I was teaching, the mother just lost. Uh, one, one of her sons, he died in Turkey. You know, this boy is sat to the worst exam, he's in a secondary school exam, and uh, did very well. So the parents, of course, it's difficult for them, but yeah. they can they can afford. Yeah. And they said, you need to go to university. They said, no, I want to travel. Mm. They had this discussion for like six, seven months. Mm. So the, the father and the mother agreed. Because of the information that they gave to them, they agreed and I think gave him like three thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. After getting the ticket and everything, he struggled. Whatever happened, it took like one month before they finally got word from him, and he was in Turkey. By the time they got word from him, he was sick. He was in the hospital. He said he had cold. I don't know where he went to. What happened? He eventually died in the hospital. He, he was very dead. You know, so you know this. That, so we went to visit her about about three weeks back, yeah. and she was crying. She said, "I told him not to go." Yeah. You know, that is just what isolated. Yeah. There are hundreds of such yes. stories. Yes. Hundreds of such stories. Yeah, yeah and Bemi was making the yeah. point this morning. It's not always about just poor people who are tempted. It, you know, it is actually some people. Rich that, people. The rich people. Make yes. Any yes. Yeah. They, 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 they are children. They've yeah. tried everything. They've gone for US visa. They fail. Yeah. Go for British visa. They fail. And they say, use this method. They are rich people that are also. Yeah, can afford get, to yeah. do that. Exactly. They're giving them money. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Sure, they are doing yeah. it. It's yeah. not just poor people. Yeah. The, you know, one thing that's happening in Sierra Leone, and maybe most other African countries yeah. and some other places that I've gone to, like, like we all say, people have this notion that the day you step your foot in Europe, finish, you are rich. <laughs> you are rich yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. that's yeah. how they see it. Yeah. And that is why people will be doing business here. They have massive business and everything. They a lot of things have money. Yeah. They will sell everything I want to go to Europe. I have a friend. He's not very far from here. The guy is doing fantastic business at uh, Swayze. Swayze is the main business where these young people do their business. Yeah. He's a good guy. He has three cars. He's building a massive house. And he, and he said he wants to go, he wants to travel. So he applied, he got a visa for France. And he traveled and he went to France. He was there six months. He just came back. Yeah. He said it is nonsense. Yes. Luckily for him, he didn't sell his business. Yeah. He, might he came back done, exactly. He, might have lost he said it every... is rubbish. Yeah. That's what he said. Well, he said it's rubbish. These people need to be given exactly. A voice, exactly. They need to tell others. They need what... to. They need to speak up. Yeah, they you know. Do. But yeah. you know, some of them. What, what happens is that uh, some yeah. go. What they suffer. Yeah. They don't want to. Speak they don't up. want to talk about. It. Back to your point. Yeah, they yeah. don't want to talk about. It. Yeah. But I'm also happy. There, there are a group of Sierraleans called the ex-asylum seekers. Yeah. I provide. I've done a lot yeah. of 
capacity building for them. They've organized themselves into what they call Ex Asylum Seekers Association. Yeah. Yes, they are here in Sierra Leone. They have a fantastic group. Yeah. These ones have horrible stories. Yeah. They have horrible stories. Yeah. You know, I, I, when I was in Amnesty, I helped them set the association, helped them register it, because I told them, raise the issues raise the issues yeah, you know yeah, yeah. advocate do advocacy people to understand what happened to you this kitten this slavery they go through mm -hmm. when they talk to you you don't want to hear some of the stories yeah. that they are they call themselves ex-asylum seekers it's an association